Hello and welcome to another episode. This is a roundup of all the tips for the new Kia app and some new stuff. Um, I've done some of these in my Kia Electric News episodes, which probably only a couple of two to three thousand of you actually watch. But, so I'm doing this as a discrete video, um, so more people will see it. I cover all kinds of things in Kia Electric News from TSBs and updates to the occasional tips, but I, I have been doing two or three for the Kia app as people ask me the questions. Now, the one thing I found is someone asked me the question, it takes so long for the Kia app to open. So is there any way you can turn off the startup screen? Well, unfortunately not. I've not found a way to turn off startup screen. So I'm just I'm opening it now. It does the animation and eventually After quite a few seconds, you can actually get to your remote controls right now. So what you can do instead of opening the full app is you can use widgets. Widgets are little mini apps with little buttons on. So it saves having to open the full app completely. So in theory, this should be quicker than opening the full app. So I'm going to show you how to do this, how to put them on, on an iPad and on an Android phone. So I've got everything covered. The iPad, in theory, it should be the same as on an iPhone, but I'm sure you let me know in the comments if it isn't. So if you press and hold the desktop or the wallpaper like that, and then top left-hand corner, you've got plus, and then you've got a list of apps with widgets. So if I scroll down to the Kia app, It's got a couple with different sizes. So I'm just going to pick the big one, add widget. And then tap on the background and it's there. And as you can see, you can turn on climate and you can lock doors and start charging and stop charging. Uh, so these aren't actually that useful. But if you actually saw what we had in Kia Connect before as widgets, you will know you couldn't customize them as far as I know in Kia Connect but you can in the new app. So if you go in remote control and then press the settings cog, you'll notice you've got widgets as an extra tab. So you can change all of those four functions to anything on there. And you've also got ventilate windows. So it's however you want to set it up really. So that's how you change the widgets remote controls. So I like to have um, ventilate Turn on climate I like, and then lock and unlock doors. So that's good enough for me. And then save, or you can reset them there to what it was originally. And it's the same menus on an iPhone or an iPad. Now, on Android, you do a similar thing to get at the widgets, but you, you obviously you need a bit of clear wallpaper to put it on. So if I press and hold that, like that and then select widgets and then find the Kia app and I'm going for them there are three sizes um, I'm going for the maximum one and you can actually drag that so it's full size there like that and again, um, I've shown you how to customize the remote control buttons. And if you click on the, that, the car in the middle, that opens the full app. So I think that's pretty useful. Right, next tip, I'm gonna open the full Kia app. And the next tip is where the hell of the charging settings gone? Um, I get this asked, asked a lot. And that has actually moved to control EV and the settings cog. And you've also got the scheduled charge in there. Target charge level for DC and AC, vehicle to load limit, notification before end of charging and the AC current.
And the other pretty common one is where the hell is valet mode gone? Right from the home button, press control. And then scroll down a bit and you've got these large buttons which change depending on what the car's doing. And to find valet mode, if it's not running, scroll across the buttons, just slide them across like that. And valet mode is normally at the end. So we'll do a quick start with valet mode. This is real time, so it's as slow as the servers are running, I guess. There we go, started. And see it's noted, it's missed, disappeared from the list and now it's at the front. So the buttons move to the front and then you can end it from there. And there you go. Other common question, I'll go back to the home screen. Where can I find the app version number? So you click on the little person on the top right, which is the profile. And eventually when you scroll down, it builds it at the bottom there. So app version 1.0.10. The other question is where do I find the head unit maps version, the system version number? If you go to vehicle, and then uh, settings cog, and then vehicle software information. Then you can see the infotainment version, the maps version, and the vehicle system version. Kia Connector add it all in one place, which was more easy and useful. Another tip, where have all my shared car settings gone? Well, um, when you open the app normally, it opens up the remote control and the status. So it's actually hiding behind there. So just service shortcut, vehicle change, and my vehicles and shared vehicles. So that's where you change that. So that is all I've got for now. So if anybody else wants to ask me questions and I know the answer, just uh, hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching.